enough that I can think with my legs? Okay, what if there's a little bit of room that I can move? What if one hand's on the end? Everything is a what if. Does that make sense? So you have to prepare or at least have universals for all eventualities. Okay, if for whatever reason there is distance here, I will use it. I will use my head to go into his face. You never want to hit him skull to skull, that hurts. But if you can hit them skull to face, that's a wonderful result. It's a great thing to do. It's a crunch of bone and it's great. But I've got him here. Look, at the end of the line, we're talking about pure survival, right? I know here, I will absolutely bite him. Ah, right? I will walk on him. Ah. Hey, maybe, why not? We're talking about for whatever reason, you're going down the street, you're walking around somewhere, and some guy grabs you and is trying to pull you somewhere and take you somewhere. We all know never, ever, ever go from point A to point B, right? Never, ever, ever go to point A. Nothing good ever happens at point B. There's not a tea party there. Okay? <laughs> point, B, point B is nothing but badness. So if he's grabbing me and trying to get me to go somewhere, I will absolutely bite him. Okay? I will go right in there, I'll bite him. Not, not a love bite. If my hands have new virility, I have these. I can go for these. I can go, I can grab him in the pit here. I can grab him here. If my hands are lower, if he's a lot bigger than I am, and I can grab his groin, I'll grab his groin. Okay, I use these because I need, this is only about creating distance. That's all this is about is creating that distance. I get out, I make space. If I've got room with a hand here, I can start hitting. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go ribs. I'm going to go kidneys. Okay, if my legs work, if I've got room in the legs, I'll start going kicking for the shins. I'll start kneeing for the thighs. Okay, you have to realize that as, as strong as the human body is, there's also all these little weaknesses in it. Okay, so if I can get him in the, if he's got, if I can clear that hip and pull off balance, now I have a leg, groin, thigh. Okay, here I am, heel. Okay, I'll do whatever I can to just start moving, striking, and clearing distance. So when they grab you, you can't just go, okay, 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 what do I do? Oh, I can't get this. Right? Or remember something. I can horse bite the ribs, I can horse bite the spine, not the center of the spine. You use the muscles on the edges. Right? Can you see that? I can horse bite the spine. I can reach up and I can horse bite the arm. And it's only about getting a little bit of space. All I need is a little. Because the more little bits that I get, the more it adds up to bigger ones, and the more I start moving. I want my hands inside. I want my hands here. Why? To protect my face, to protect my vitals, and to be able to create distance. If I can get an arm in, I can just stick it in his neck and push. Okay, I can clear him out. Is that going to stop him? No. But the five of these that I start throwing as soon as I room, have the room will. Okay, you can't think, okay, get off. I don't want to get hurt. Stop. Right? You have to think, I don't want to get hurt. You have an option. Okay? If he was, if they put you in that position, you have a choice. Do you want to go home or not? That's all it comes down to it. Do you want to come home or not? I'm not advocating you to walk around and beat the snot out of anybody you see, but I am asking you that if you are assaulted and someone is trying to put their hands on you for bodily harm, do you want to go home? Okay? I want to go home. So I'm going to create distance. I'm going to hit. I'm going to strike. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get my hands up into a position where they're dangerous. My hands are not nearly as dangerous down here. Make no mistake about it. There are things I can do but not enough where I'm going to cause a lot of body damage. Especially if he's on drugs. Always keep that in mind. If he's on drugs of some kind, he may not have pain receptors. He might not feel anything. So all the pushing around and all this is just to create a distance to get my hands up here. Because there's a difference between pain and damage. Okay? A lot of hits, this is a pain strike. It causes Danny no permanent damage. He goes, ah, because he knows it doesn't feel good. But if he was high on drugs, this wouldn't do anything. This is damage, because the elbow will break bone and damage things in the face. Does that make sense? If, and now remember, we're still only talking about being stuck here. Okay, different spots always call for different reactions. Okay, so what I need you guys to still keep working on doing is clearing your distance. Bam, bam. Be nice and respect your partner. If they're sitting here and going, okay, this is where my headbutt is, don't be like, nope, it's not working. Because then you got to really go, okay, bang, and then it's, you know, nobody likes that. Okay, so just, you got to keep going here. you got to cre keep creating distance. All right? Get that move over. You know, where are the weaknesses on the body? The eyes, the neck, the throat. The hips aren't a weakness, but they're a pivot point. Okay? The groin, joints, the knees. 
fingers. I mean, we know how much I love talking about the fingers. And we also know my other general rules. If there's hair, you grab it. If they have jewelry, it's yours. Take it home with a party gift. Okay? Don't leave. Don't just be like, okay, it's nothing. Okay? So keep consistent. Create your distance. Strike and move. Everybody understand? All right, keep